getting a connection string for MongoDB Atlas can trip you up. Let's make it easy. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on a technology. But sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this or how do I do this? That's why I created the 10-minute training series. So let's dive right into connecting to MongoDB Atlas. Here I have Atlas open. If you need to get here, you go to cloud.mongodb.com. When you log in, you'll come to your Atlas installation if you have one. If you don't, you have to create one. But once you do, you'll see your installation. Here I have two. I have the I am Tim Corey demo one, and I have I am Tim Corey prod. This prod is for the suggestion site. We're not going to use that one. We're going to look at this one right here, which is the M0 sandbox, which is the free tier of MongoDB. So what I'm going to do is there's this connect button right here. Click the connect button and you will be asked which type of connection do you want? Do you want to connect using MongoDB shell, connect an application or connect using compass? We're going to choose to connect your application. And actually the connection string here can be used in MongoDB compass as well. But for our purposes, we're going to select connect your application. We're going to choose C sharp slash dot net from the list. And then you can choose either 2.11 or later or 2.55 or later. They're all the same. So what this is going to do is give you a connection string that works with your database. Now, we're not going to be quite done here, but this is the vast majority of what you need to do is just hit the copy button right here. This gives you the full connection string to your database minus two parts. And that's where you have to read down here where it says replace the password in angle brackets with the password to a T core user. It's not giving you the password here. That's for safety and security reasons. It doesn't even know what the password is. You have to know what the password is to your Atlas cluster. You set that up when you set up Atlas. Now, the other thing it gives you is the my first database, which is right here. This you will replace with your database name as the default database. Now, if you're already specifying which database to connect to, it's not the end of the world to leave this as my first database because you're overriding the defaults. But in general, you'd want to select the, the database that you want by default. And that's it. So if you come over to Visual Studio, you'll see here this is the, the source code for the suggestion app. And in my app settings.json file, I have a section right here for MongoDB in the connection strings. Here, I would paste this in and then I'd modify my password. So whatever this is, maybe that, it's not, but let's just pretend it's that. Um, I would paste that in and now I have my username and password. And then I'd change this, my first database to demo DB1 or whatever the database is that I want to use by default. So that would be how I would use this connection string. Now for this application, I did not store connection strings in appsettings.json. And in fact, I'm going to undo this because what I do is I store them in user secrets. That way I can have them on my machine, but they don't get committed to source control. And that's important because right now this is going to get committed to source control including my username and password. And that's a problem. We don't want that. So don't put it here, put it in user secrets. And then when you go to deploy your application, you'll want to have your deployment system inject the correct uh, connection string for that environment anyway. But this is how you set up your connection string. Now, we actually use it. Notice here, I'm actually overriding the database name, but we're saying new MongoDB client and we're grabbing that connection string. So essentially, we are pasting this in here like so. And of course, replacing the, the password and the my first database. But that's what we're doing. We're putting the connection string 
in the, the new Mongo client, and notice it says it's asking for a connection string, we're putting that in here. But in my code, I am pulling it from the config file, the app settings.json, secrets.json, app settings.development.json, and so on. So that's where it comes from, but that's where it goes as well. And this right here, the database name, we're grabbing that from the uh, configuration file. And then we say get database, we're asking for this specific database instead of not specifying a database name, which would use the default. So that's how you get a connection string from MongoDB. It's as simple as going to MongoDB, specifying the driver version for the application. So you're choosing the connect your application, select the driver type and the version number, and then it's hitting copy. You don't need full code, but notice the full code right here does give you a sample for how it might look. So with that, that's all you have to do to use MongoDB Atlas in your C Sharp application and connect to it very, very easily. So let me know your thoughts on this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And also let me know what else you wanna see on these short little videos. If you want, there is no source code for today's video, so there won't be a source code link down below. But thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.